I've been surprised by uh, how much resonance there is with people around the leadership behaviors and the amount of leverage that those leadership behaviors tend to um, have in an organization when they're consistently practiced. Um, and what, what you find is that, that some of the behaviors, you know, leaders come from all different backgrounds, different styles, different approaches, and it's not, the, the, those behaviors are not style dependent. Right? So a quiet leader uh, can practice you know, the, the leadership behaviors around transparency just as well as the type A inspirational coach. Um, and, and I think that's, that's really important. Uh, we had um, uh, purposely, and, and, and in the paper we, just, you know, we, we essentially say we're, we like all these leadership models that are around how people engage in social influence um, and their personal behaviors. We think those are important, but they're really, uh, we don't think that, we think that the behaviors that we've outlined are, they work with any of those models. So they work with the Bennis and Servant Leadership. They work with Covey. They work with Parker Palmer. They, whatever happens, whatever you bring to the table as an individual leader about your belief systems, these behaviors we've identified seem to be really helpful and consistent with a lot of different sort of leadership books that are out there so that you can practice those behaviors. It doesn't matter what your personal style is. What matters is are you practicing these types of behaviors or can you translate your style through these behaviors but to achieve, you know, to stay focused, to, to, to be transparent, to work across boundaries, to become an authentic presence at the front lines. All those things those things are independent of, of uh, individual personal style.